Our first speaker today is Steve Cannon, Steve with two E's. You might have seen his answers on Stack Overflow. Uh, he is the founder of Ether POS, a point of sale system, a tattoo artist at Atomic Tattoos. And he's going to be telling you about, uh, he's going to do a demo of Ether POS and telling you about one year of running a business on Meteor. Steve. Yeah, so I'm a tattoo artist. I'm not a programmer. And I have 17 stores across three cities with about 125 staff members. Scaling brick and mortar is difficult. You have to have a lot of software to automate a lot of stuff. And a lot of the commercial software we're using was destroying us. It was tearing us apart. So I wrote this point of sale system with Meteor. It really powers probably about 90% of our business functions. And we've been live on it for one year. So it has a standard login. And when you log in, you see a um, basically like a dashboard of various tools. And there's about a dozen tools behind each area. We're just going to go straight into the cash register. You see a lot of familiar functions, cash paid outs, drawer count, drawer close. So we're going to go in here. And you can use a barcode scanner or a UP uh, a QR code scanner, or you can just start typing. And we're going to sell a $100 tattoo to Jack. Now, we used to push all the customers to the client, but it got a little bit hairy and crunchy. So it asks if I want to update the customer. I hit that I don't. I'm going to select Daniel. Scott is the tattoo artist. Now I'm in the cash register. But let's say he took uh, and bought two tattoos. And let's say that his girlfriend got a navel piercing. Now, we also use this to sell all of our retail. It shows you the customers on the invoice already. And we'll select Jill. And it only shows the body piercers. And they both need to buy aftercare, too. Daniel sold it. And JD sold that one. It has configurable tender types, so we'll just do $50 cash. And I also hooked it up to our gift card platform. And it'll go and grab the gift card balance and show it and activate the Apply Payment button. And it's actually taking funds off this gift card on our live system. You can configure all kinds of tender types. Like this is for Amex if you're using like a point of sale device that was next to the point of sale system. But just this week, we integrated Etherpay with Heartland Payment Systems which will actually do card swipes. This is a neat device that actually encrypts the card right now, so it's not subject to RAM vector attacks like what happened to Target and Nordstrom's. Now, this is a test card, so sometimes it returns declines, but it didn't return a decline. So this would be signed on a tablet. Or the cool thing about Meteor is that you can set up second screens that subscribe to data, right? And so you could tell the customer that the screen right in front of them, facing them, please sign that. And then it'll go back to showing them marketing messages. Shows a nice receipt, even with barcodes and uh, QR codes. So it actually pops the cash drawer. It works with a star TSP printer. Uh, like I said, QR code reader to put stuff into the cash register, barcode reader. Um, and even prints all of our product labels with the Zebra LP2824. Um, up here is just like how you can go to a department if you want to do something manually, like for the people that aren't smart enough to use you know, typing it in. And we'll just close it out, the rest with cash. Invoice is closed. Shows a nice, beautiful receipt that can be printed out for the customer. They can reopen receipts if they want and change stuff around. Supports full voiding, paging for all the various receipts through the day. And like I said, it manages the various other parts of our system, our full CMR, all of our inventory management systems from purchase order through transfer order, through uh, inventory counts, gobs of reports. All of our accounting, our payroll processing, our commission processing, all of our sales tax processing. It even allows us to manage our time clock entries. And here's all like the setup area where you would set up like tax rates, you know, custom tender types, like if you wanted to add another currency of some kind. 
And then the last area is it has a uh, roles-based administration system where there's groups, users belong to groups, and groups are assigned rights to do things to various sections of the application. So that's the application. How much time do I got? Done? Yeah. All done? OK. There's the packages I use, if you want to see. Questions? It's so easy. Even a caveman can do it. <laughs> I looked like that about a year ago. <laughs> Dan? So you use Python Hat for all the home feed. How do you do the server side the communication is so fast? OK, so um, what I do is. Could you please repeat the question? Oh, OK. So I use Type Ahead, and he's asking, how do I get it to be so fast uh, based on the server side pull, right? Um, and that particular interface, and I'll go back to it really quick. Um, actually, I can go to it right there. So I don't populate that right now. Otherwise, it'll slow down the whole page. You have to do it on first use, OK? And so then what it does is it gets the items. But the items are already in memory. See, they're all right here. There's 460 of them. Make sense? Yeah, um, in, in our, in our mall-based stores, the collection of items that are in this interface is closer to about 1,500, and it seems all right. Um, before our customer database got up to like 25 or 30,000, which is right around September, I had already done some tests of taking the client up to like 30, 40, 50,000 records to see how crunchy it gets. And that's why you saw we had to search by keyword to add a customer to the invoice. It used to be just as fast as this. You would just start typing a customer name from the dropdown and hit enter and just keep going. Uh, this is hosted on AWS, and the examples of the staging server is just a micro. So you mentioned you another program, uh, my education. Can you tell us how did you build all this up? Did you hire someone else? No. no uh, well, I, I hired, I, I wrote all of it myself except for recently. I hired Nate Strasser to help with the Heartland package um, because I'm really overloaded with work. And so I built the front end with the signature. Well, he was building, he was taking some Node.js libraries that Heartland gave us and wrapping them in a package. Um, but I've been programming since I was like 11, since 1981, just for fun. Yeah? How long has that been in development? OK, so um, he asked, how long has it been in development? I started, I built a couple sample apps, uh, probably when Meteor first got that public notice. And then in August of 2012, I started working on this, but only like a couple of hours a day. I don't have a lot of time to work on it. And then we launched April last year. And we had all stores migrated off of the old systems uh, by the end of April. Um, in fact, these are the old systems that got kicked to the curb. Intuit QuickBooks, POS. You knew what you wanted to replace. Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. OK, he asked, how do we interface with hardware? Um, cash registers are actually really simple. It's just a telephone cable that goes to the printer, and it listens for the bell character. Okay. It's always been that way. There's nothing fancy about them, unless you buy a USB cash register. But most people don't use those. And then you have to use like that. I think there's a Chrome thing out there that you can get for USB. Yeah? How did you know about What? How did you know? How, how did you first about it? Um, I was out here for a conference the January or February around then called The Future of Payment Systems that Brian Zisk runs. I try to always go to that conference. And there was kids talking about, there was a bunch of Node.js kids talking about Meteor this, Meteor that. And I was searching for a framework at the time. Where's yeah? The, uh, uh, the nearest would be Milwaukee. But I was out here looking at property with uh, some developers. I didn't get the does it hurt question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Steve. Thank you.